What's up guys, Doc Redstone here, and welcome to my new series called Tiny Jack. And basically what this series is, is I'm going to try to miniaturize to the smallest extent possible some of these creations um, that I see, such as AND gates, OR gates, NOR gates, etc, etc. Uh, you can't really shrink an OR gate, but basically today is a T flip-flop. And I basically decided that I was going to make the teeth flip-flop smaller. Because if you think about it, a teeth flip-flop normally takes up four blocks wide by three blocks long by um, four blocks high. And obviously that's a pretty, pretty darn big creation. So I decided to shrinkify it. So the teeth flip-flop that I created is only three long by three wide and it's only one tall. So it's pretty, pretty creative. Shh. My cat has been decided that she wants to be on YouTube today. Yes. So anyway, basically what a T flip flop does, for those of you who do not know, is when you press a button, it will um, power a redstone circuit, or it will depower a redstone circuit. So as you can see, press the button, it's depowered. Actually, I'll take that back. This is supposed that this will be four by three since this block has to extend and when you push it back it powers it and basically this is a pretty simplistic design I'll go ahead and show you guys how to build it um, but for the logic of it it's not too difficult this right here which is the majority of the contraption is a monostable circuit and a monostable circuit basically sends almost a one to two tick pulse to any creation or any um, anything basically any circuit and since the piston is getting a one tick pulse it actually pulls back before it even pushes for the most part and will leave the block out here without pulling it back so that's the purpose of the monostable circuit so to make this it's pretty easy you're only gonna need three sands or three sort of blocks whoops three blocks a redstone repeater two redstone torches and a sticky piston so what you're going to want to do is you're going to place, whoops, crap, I don't have a pickaxe, okay. So you want to go ahead and you want to place your two blocks so there's a space in between them. You want to then take your redstone repeater, place it in the center, and set it to three ticks by clicking on it twice. You then want to take your redstone torch, put one on the right-hand side and one on the left-hand side on the bottom block. You want to go ahead and connect the them with your uh, redstone dust take a sticky piston go ahead and place it there dig a one deep hole place a redstone torch in there place a uh, block on top and there's your output and then if you want to test it you can use a button and ta-da it's that quick it's that simple and it's that effective guys so, this has been Doc Redstone with my episode of Tiny Tech. Hopefully you guys like it. I also will be putting out a Let's Play soon. Uh, I know some of you guys may be opposed to that, not like that idea. But I decided I was going to just because um, a Let's Play should be pretty fun. should be something new. There's only so many creations I can get. Um, it's going to be more of a technical Let's Play, so it's going to be like a combination of Etho and Doc M. Um, that's how I want to do it. So anyway, that's how that's going to roll, guys. Anyway, this has been Doc M. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave a description. Or, I can leave a description. Don't leave a description, but rate, comment, subscribe. This has been Doc Redstone. 